previously on Unfiltered Realness. And so I didn't pay the $50 because, I, I mean, it's COVID-19, right? And so I'm not really big on going to a boat party during the epidemic. But you know, I'm excited for this boat trip. They're talking about it's canceled. No, bitch, my event is not canceled. It's just canceled for y'all. My event is not canceled, it's just canceled for y'all. Y'all are not invited anymore. Cause I gave y'all deadlines talking about it's canceled. Bitch, it will never be canceled. You, I don't know who you thought. You thought you was dealing with a basic bitch. My, my shit ain't gonna be canceled at all. I have to check my calendar to see um, about this boat ride. So, let's get into that. So with this boat ride, it's supposed to be for the whole freaking cast um, and two of the production members. So, and they had, he gave us, Edward gave us a, um, enough time to get our coins together. It's only $50. Uh, he told us a month ahead of time that when the due date was and how much it was he gave us all that information so that was good on his part um so the day of when the funds are due comes and no one pays for the boat ride but me and Aubrey Ray I'm still gonna have my shit regardless I just gave y'all the opportunity to be on my boat that's what it is like I would regardless if y'all was gonna show it could have been zero cast members show up I was still gonna have my boat party because I already prepaid for it. So it doesn't matter about if y'all was going or not. I don't care if y'all was gonna go. That's not the point. I don't care. I have the money to pay for it with or without y'all. So with us, the only two paying for it, Edward got upset. He was going off on the cast and the group me, um, talking about how they, uh, some broke bitches, they don't like the travel, and all of that. And uh, now my intake on that is, okay, we are in a crisis with COVID-19, the coronavirus, and some people are not okay with being around other folks. Um, they don't want to be around folks right now. They don't want the possibility of catching the coronavirus, and that's cool. But on their part, y'all could communicate that with him and y'all could have said that before he went off. So that way he could have understood that. That's my thing, communication is big. I knew that I was going, so I wasn't communicating and I wasn't saying anything because I knew I was gonna have my coins to go. And that's what I did. Okay, broke ass hoes. Y'all hoes ain't even got a garage. Or a house with 12 roommates. Yeah, it's me and my Caucasian neighborhood. Period. Back to this uh, trade person. I hope he gets the help that he de really deserves. <laughs> I really do hope he gets the help that he deserves. Because you can't just talk sideways to people that you don't even know. Or even know what their capacity is. Being who I am, I'm an adult now, but if he would have caught me five years ago, oh, I would have pulled up to his house, knocking on your door, ready. But I'm an adult. And you think you like, I have so much money now that I'm not gonna let you antagonize me to fight you so you can sit me. So you can get your come up. Cause I'm pretty sure you're looking for a come up. Um. On Edward's part, he can't just think that everybody is going to go to his functions. Um, I heard that he was upset about the horseback ride because some of the cast, including myself, did not show up. And I had other things going on. To even hold a spot, a seat. You can't pay people dollars for a seat on a boat. And I have uh, to keep a roof over my head. So my coin comes first. And that's what I was doing. I was doing my coin, making my coin, um, doing hair, 
um, getting prepared, going to go sh showcase the hair, and doing all that. I mean, I have to wear my product and I have to put it out there and people ask me, who did your hair or how you do your hair or what kind of hair is that? You know, I have to be able to deliver that. And that's what I was doing. I was focusing on my business. And he gets in a group like, y'all some broke bitches. Y'all still talking about me? Goddamn. Like, but y'all still haven't pulled up yet. Where are y'all at? And you wonder why I don't associate myself with y'all. You see why? I would never. Y'all can't even afford fifty dollars. Like I, we're gonna front all this money. Y'all broke and all of this. Your little fifty bucks, your little fifty dollars, ain't shit. Fifty dollars ain't shit compared to eight hundred and seventy-five dollar total, bitch. Then um, Trey comes and he like, Edward, shut the fuck up or like beat your ass. You a, a, a gangsta, uh, tweet Twitter fingers, like nobody trying to get corona, nobody want to go on your fucking boat trip. Trey just like, fuck that bitch, and stuff like this, and Edward left the group. So Edward don't even know all this is going on. Like, why you want to fight me so bad? That's, that's about really right. That's, that everybody wants to know that. Like, it's not just me. Everybody on the show wants to know. Production wants to know. The viewers, my fans, my followers. And I'm just like, okay. And it's not even about the money because I was willing to pay $300 out of pocket just to have this event. I was gonna cook the food. Y'all know me, I can cook. I'm a chef as well. I was gonna cook the food. I was gonna fucking buy the drinks make fucking jello shots, be the fucking bartender, and everything else. I was gonna do all of that. But y'all concerned about $50? Cause y'all can't afford 50 bucks for a four hour event. I know about the boat ride. I'm going to the boat ride, where you going? Free food. Are you there? Free drinks. Did you pay your money? Free drugs. Did you get your coin to get on? Basically. Like, but y'all can't pay $50 for anything? To even hold a spot, a seat. You can't even pay $50 for a seat on a boat. Please. And I paid my coins and now I'm gonna be on the boat ride and going. I was supposed to be here on time for a boat party. I paid my coins and now I'm gonna be on the boat ride and going. Um, but I overslept, so since I overslept, I missed the fucking boat party. They left my bitch ass. I don't blame them, I would've left me too, cause I should've been on time. I was extra late to your boat party, Edward, and I do want to totally apologize uh, for that. I was up working, doing wigs, and then my little boo came over, so y'all already know what happened after that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, he came over, um, and basically I overslept. I had four alarms set, Edward, and I missed every last one of them. 
in my life, I can only speak for myself, things just happen and I just go with the flow. It be happening right then and there and you you can never put a time on what, re, what I'm doing or what's going on or anything like that. But I am ready for it to see the cast. Um, child, I'm ready to see Tariq. I, I like some more. Really, really good heart. Oh, I hope he wears fitted. I should call him so I could be like, let's color coordinate. Mm, let's color coordinate. You know I'm your wife and everything. Let's color coordinate. I know you might have a little boyfriend or whatever, but let's color coordinate. I'm your wife. I pull up with you to appearances and stuff. That's my job. Let's color coordinate, Tariq. Let's color coordinate. Oh, I hope you wear a fitted suit. Oh, to where it fits his body and his muscles and his growing area. I like to ask questions. Maybe I ask, how are you on the inside some more? I'm here for it. I'm just gonna be like, <laughs> Scotland, stay away from my man Tariq, okay? I'm sorry, what was it? He's mine. All mine. Covered. Covered. <laughs> no, what was the new saying? What was said? You know, I'll let you have him one day or something, but right now, he's to me. He was a woman. And that's what I'm gonna give him. Look, 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 look. Give him a yeah, Samora is, is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait for us to, you know, uh, communicate a little bit more. All I can say just broke ass bitches. Like, if you can't even spend $50 to go on a boat ride, y'all can't even afford a reunion show. Like, how are y'all supposed to, you can't even afford your dress to come to a reunion or your suit or whatever you wear or whoever you want to be today. Like, pathetic. Y'all trash as fuck.